I also want to say why I believe it was um, he had never had a fair trial, given the fact that if you're going to record a telephone conversation, you would have known that ahead of time. No one ahead of time to ensure that the whole process was fair, fair to all parties. I'm saying that to mean that no JP was present to ensure that these recordings came about by authentic means, that it wasn't a performance from Mr. Ramirez, that there was no stop, wait, say it again kind of thing when you're doing, a, when you're recording. And there wasn't any presence or involvement of defense counsel, not to question, but just certainly to just sit back and listen to ensure that the process of this recording, the importance of that recording was because given his him being adamant that he's not going to come to court and testify because he's fearful for his life, which the court accepted uh, and, and allowed the statement to be tendered, meant that defense counsel would not be in a position to cross-examine him. But it also meant that defense counsel can't, is not in a position to say whether or not these three recordings that led to the statement being admissible into evidence were done by just a natural, natural phone conversation and there wasn't any prompting 